Hey everybody, welcome back to Women Carry Knives. It has been a while since I've actually done a review, but um, I have something really interesting and it actually comes from somebody in the community. Her name is Stacy Bolstered Blades. Some of you may know her. She's in all the chat. She's always around. Um, she's got a pretty good presence, so I'm sure you're familiar with that name. And she reached out and asked me if I wanted to check out her knife. Now, she designed this knife, and it was actually made by Aries EDC. She named this, or I'm not sure if she actually named it, but it is called the Flamingo. This little thing is really cool. Now, I love my little knives, and I like fixed blades, so um, I was pretty happy to be able to check this one out. Um, the sheath is actually perfect. It fits just right. I mean, it is snug. It's got a great snap to it. It's sturdy. Well done. Very well done. And I love the color. I mean, it's just a, I don't know, day glow greenish color, which is very cool. Um, what are you going to get with this one? Let's take a look at some of the specs on it. Well, your blade is going to be an 80 CRV2 blade steel. Your handle is going to be black burlap micar micarta and bubblegum pink. Very cool. It's a full tang knife. You can see that. Um, everybody kind of has their own little, their own, I don't even know what you want to call it, their own uh, description of blade shapes. I personally like Stacy's. So it has a harpoon look and it has a sheep's foot look and she is calling this the sheep's poon, <laughs> which I find absolutely hilarious. I love it and that is what I'm going with. I do also like the lanyard on the back because it gives you that little bit of extra. This thing is so comfortable in hand. It has been an absolute blast. Stacy, thank you so much for allowing me to review this. Um, it fits in the pocket really well. Now, I did stick it in the front pocket, but it doesn't have, you know, a clip or anything. So it was actually more comfortable for me to have in the back pocket. It's got good weight to it. And I don't know, the scale is out here, so I will get to that. Like I said, super comfortable in hand. We've talked about this before. You can see here, you know, my hand is basically four inches across. And this fits so comfortably. And because of the fact that you've got this great uh, thick handles, this micarta, burlap micarta on here in G10, it is, I mean, just, it makes it really, really comfortable to hold in any way that I've had it. Um, that lanyard gives me, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch more of grip on that. The way that it's held, I mean, it's, so, because it's not my knife, I didn't do a lot with it, but I did do a little bit of cutting cardboard. Um, Stacy, I did cut it on a little bit of uh, meat in the kitchen, um, but nothing really major. It is very sharp, and this is a fabulous little knife. So, I would, you know, for me, this would be one that I would want something like this, this size. It is awesome. On your length, your blade length is going to be, what, two and a half inches, and your cutting edge is about just over two and a quarter. Your full length is going to be, one, two, three, four, five, about five and a half inches, not counting your lanyard there. One, two, three, four, five, and a half. So for a small blade, it's kind of... Now, I, I don't know if you guys see my collection. I do have some that are very small. Even though I consider this a small knife, it has more of a medium-sized feel to it. And I think for me, it's because sometimes when you get the small knives like this, the uh, handles are much thinner. So it kind of feels slippy in your hand, if that's a word you'd like to use. It feels slippy, so it's not, you, you can't get a full grasp on it. Let's see on the weight on this because... It is definitely not too light. It has a great balanced feel to it. So it's, she, uh, she did a great job. So wait, now keep in mind the lanyards on it, which isn't going to give it that much more. But 2.8 ounces are for those of you that prefer grams, it's 79 grams. So again, small knife, it's going to be light. 
we can take a look at the mora. We've got a mora here. So for those of you that know your mora, as you can see, is it small? Yeah, it's definitely small. I would consider the mora to be more of a medium-sized knife. Um, we do have larger ones, but you know, for size purposes, I just wanted to show you these two together. Now, the more I've always liked, too, because, again, it's got a great handle. So that makes a really big difference, especially if you're somebody like me who, you know, I do have arthritis in my hands, and I have mentioned that several times before. So when the handle is bigger, it allows me that better grip. And that's why it's so important when you have something this small for me to have a good width on the handle. It's, I mean, it's very well done. Now, she was reaching out to this person, um, had been talking to them quite a bit, um, kind of mentioned them in the EDC community, and I guess now it is to the point where when he is opening his books, they're full within a few months. So that is absolutely awesome. I love it. If this is what he's doing out there, um, he's going to go really far because... The craftsmanship on this one is absolutely superb. I mean, it is so well-defined and smooth and everything. I mean, you cannot, I personally, I don't see any flaws. I absolutely love it. I think this is fantastic. Well, you guys, I just wanted to pop on here and give you a quick look at this. I've been carrying this around now for a couple weeks, and it has been absolutely just the funnest little thing I've had in, I don't know, in months. I've had a blast. Check out Aries EDC. Um, get on his Instagram. Check it out. See what he's got going. You may find another one just like this. Again, this one is called the Flamingo. Stacy, thank you so much for letting me borrow it. It's been a blast to just do this short little review for you guys. And I hope to see you soon. Take care.